Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today I'm fishing with three of my best friends and Spencer. Uh, wish us luck. We're going to be out here trout fishing today. We're going after the rainbows and brown trout. Those are the two main trout in this creek. And uh, hopefully we can catch some so we can do a little catch and cook action for you. Stay tuned. It's a beautiful day out here. Early, what is today? April? May? What's May 2nd. May 2nd. May 2nd. Trout season just opened last weekend, and so we're gonna rip some lips. Stay tuned, y'all enjoy. Look at the, I've never seen rapids. Oh, those are fresh trees down. The rapids are cool, there might be some fish there. Did you guys see any or have any luck? Oh, he got, he got a couple. I had a rainbow and a brown, he let them both go. Very cool. Brown was a little larger than the rainbow. 11 inches, 13 inches, something like that. Wow, that's pretty nice. You know how long I've wanted to do this? What, Yeah, just get back in this creek. I love it here. I should live here. Come on, Ethan, time to get your big old rainbow. No. Was it really? Something was nibbling at it, yeah. I remember it usually being clearer too. I'm wondering if that rain terrible bad until that last bend, I think. But it does get deep, yeah. The water is a little chilly. Yeah? yeah. Did you go swimming? I did. Nice. Hey, I've been, <laughs> I've been there. Thanks. Are they? Sweet. Okay. There's one. Yes! It's my first rainbow. There you go. That's a good size. Thank you. I fished on Monday. We hold that. Yeah. Oh, he's off too. You got him just in time. Oh, that's oh, freaking beautiful. <laughs> that net is huge, man. Game changer. I kind of feel bad, but at the same time, I never, ever keep fish. So, so I really don't feel that bad. Plus, these are stocked to be eaten. And you paid for your trout stand. Actually, that might be like 12. I bet it's over 10. So can you give us tips of where you caught it? Uh, it's absolutely a secret, and I will not tell anybody anything. The secret is cast and reel. They're, they're at the bottom right now, so they're trying to come up, I think. Yeah, so I guess the kayaks don't really matter that much. Look at that beautiful man. He gets my nether regions all tingly. <laughs> gray on gray on gray. Did I just put my reel straight in the water? You're right, I did. What a fail. Ladies and gentlemen, do not be like this guy. Look at him, snagged in the tree. I'll give it to him, it's tough in here, but. The spot that has trout in this creek and he just wants to blow it up. Do you see the current, Liz? There's a reason we're here. The current is where a lot of these fish are hanging out. They're waiting on some bait and stuff to come across. Anywhere there's current or deep holes, that's where you're gonna find these trout. If either of you get one, first, First thing you want to do is probably just get to shore as fast as possible because they come off so easy. Okay. Or I can try to get over there with the net, but if you get one, you'll want to be as fast as possible. You will probably want to come this way. It's kind of crazy these travels face upstream, so you kind of want to walk upstream and uh, cast across or upstream. One so far, got a little more work to do. Ooh, I don't know if that was a hit or if that was a stick, but there's something in there. 
I don't think I showed you guys what I'm using, but I've just got a little um, rooster tail, white rooster tail. Uh, I think it's one sixth ounce, pretty small. I really like the white color. Some of the other colorful ones work just as well, but I like white then yellow and some greens and trout seem to love it. Caught a lot of browns in here before. I've never caught a rainbow except for the one today. So hopefully we'll see what happens. I know they, they're stocking the rainbows this year. No browns. Usually they stock a couple of browns in here as well. I think we can go around it. On the shore, on the shore, on the shore. Smallmouth. Uh, it's a rock bass. Is it a rock bass? Right here, right here, right here. You have to go to it. He's on the line or on the tree. By the way, this is a very large rock bass. That's yeah, why I thought it was a smallmouth. I'm really shocked. I did not like think. This. I didn't think she. I am a natural. Is that what you're saying? I didn't yes. think there were rock bass in here. I'm very proud of you. I think that's awesome. Uh, ten out of ten. Obviously, I'm the best fisherman. You're the best fisherwoman, <laughs> and them two suck. <laughs> yes. Ready? What What I'm trying to say though is this is awesome, and. We're going to be hungry tonight, but we each get one fillet. Oh my God, Spencer. Oh, I got a cramp. Jesus, oh. vagina. I flex so hard to keep from going over the... <laughs> Did you just say cramp in my vagina? <laughs> He's not losing that one. He's going to go get it. I know he will. The good news is it looks pretty shallow right there. Or not. That'll be in the video. <laughs> Son of a gun, man. I'm very certain that flew right above my head. Could you not? When you fish with Spencer, it is a requirement. Did you get hooked? For, to wear your PPE. Oh, that is wicked cool. Those are right over us. They probably heard me calling them in. I mean, that kind of sounds good. That's what I get for running my lip. He literally followed it. Uh-oh. Like December when the trout season ends, you can still do it. Yeah, it just, there's, oh, oh God. What was it? Brown. That was cool. And I guarantee you can see that on video. Was it big? About 12. I cannot believe that. There it is. Rainbow. Woo! All right, Liz, I'm sinking. I need you to take that. Grab onto me. I'm. Watch my line. <laughs> Maybe the one I had following me was a rainbow. I'm so excited. I need you to hold this. I've never caught one before. Yeah, this is freaking wicked. Good job, Spencer. Oh, this guy's had a rough life. He doesn't even have a fin. That's a beautiful fish, though. It's, nice fish, babe. Its lip isn't as big as I'm pretty that. sure the three best fishermen have caught fish now. What's <laughs> going What in the world are you doing? You got him. Brown. Told you there was one here. He might still be here. I think it was a rainbow, but it might have been a brown. That's exactly why I came over here. The spots were just really pronounced. I think we're pretty good going two for three, honestly, on the trout. Yeah. Open her up, Spencer. Give me one long cast. I know you want to just give me one of these. Yeah. Ye yeet. Looky there, man. Feels good, doesn't it? Open her up a bit. Oh, hey, Liz. I don't, so close. I don't mean to scare you, and I don't want you to panic, but you got a leech on your ass. Let me see. Get it off. Turn around for him. Oh, they're not bad. Get it up, get it up. I don't get even up, know if it's up, a leech. Get it up, get it up. 
off. It's on the waiters. I don't care. Get it off. Get it off. Well, that's the end of the fishing adventure. That was fun. Welcome back. We are not fishing anymore. We're going to be doing a little cooking. As you see here, we have got two beautiful rainbows and a rock bass. A little catch and cook on the rainbows and a little additional rock bass. Step one, turn the grill on. Step two, get a pan that doesn't fit underneath the lid, but it'll work. And uh, fill her up with a little oil. And start filleting. Step one, clean the fish. Wash all the fillets off. Now we're going to take these fillets and dunk them in a little bit of Frank's Red Hot and then into the flour. And then we'll be ready to make some golden crispies. Got them uh, sitting there in the little Red Hot. Now to the flour. What's up, Jared P. Dot? Featuring a very loud sprayer. Holy cow. That dude's ripping it. Got your golden crispies marinating a little bit. First time ever cleaning a trout. I'm sure it shows. Straight into the flour. What kind of sauce is that in there? We've got a little Frank's Red Hot in here. And then in the flour, we've got flour, a little salt, pepper, a little garlic action, onion powder, just the good stuff. <laughs> this is quite a messy process. I'd suggest towels. Or a more. piece of OSB. <laughs> yeah, I, you like my table? It's oh, missing a corner. <laughs> All right generous amount that way it's evenly coated really good while wow, it's just yeah okay zip this guy up put a little air in it I just give her give her a little love in there there ain't nothing better than a $25 grill let me tell you all right moment of truth ready oh yeah you want to hear it pop just a little bit not too much now we're going to put this here lid on there that doesn't fit and we're going to give her about 10 minutes. Stay tuned. Oh yeah. All finished. All right. There they are. I got my official taste tester, Jared P. Dot. Give her a dangle. The top ones are the rainbows. Get in there. Get it. Get it. Not bad. One to three. Hot. Hot, so it's about a four. Kind of gonna oh wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Get on there, Chris B. Get in there, Chris. You gotta take one of the long, skinny ones, though. Which one? One of these ones? Mm hmm. I have for a good. What are you giving it? It's tasty and very hot. Try this one, Chris. What is this one, the rock bass? Yeah, try the rock bass. I bet that'll be better. This is real good. It's a blue ribbon. Blue ribbon? Blue ribbon. It's a lot better. <laughs> than the other one? Trout's not that good. Yeah. But the rock bass is good. Mm -hmm. It's real hot. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks to my two taste testers out there. They're pretty cool guys. Wow, that fish is real hot. Uh, subscribe to the channel and I will catch you on another Upstream Outdoors episode. Hope you liked this catch and cook. Let me know what you thought down below and I will see you on another episode. Peace, y'all.